A magistrate court in Akure, Ondo State Capital, has sentenced a 36-year-old widow, Mrs. Obayemi Omoyemi, to four and a half years imprisonment for inflicting heavy body injuries on a 12-year-old Alsep, identified as Joel Sunday. Omoyemi was arraigned before a magistrate court on a five-count charge. Ondo State correspondent Jonah Omowa completes the report. The defendant was alleged to have used stick and razor blade to inflict multiple injuries on the body of the boy who she accused of stealing pieces of meat. Delivering judgment, Chief Magistrate Olufi Milayo Edwin sentenced the defendant to three and a half years on the first count charge of grievous harm she inflicted on the victim in the Vera video. The defendant was also sentenced to one year imprisonment on count five. The prosecution and defense counsels react to the judgment. Defendant in person of Mrs. Omoyemi Okoyemi has been uh, sentenced to three and a half years on the first count, which is a uh, uh, grievous arm that she inflicted arm on Joel Sunday in the viral video that we have seen before uh, today. Then for the second one, which is count five, uh, that is one year imprisonment. The implication of this is that uh, the sentence of the court will run and then she has to still come back to court on April 13th to, uh, for the trial of the other count three. I think the magistrate has not heard. The magistrate is fair, going by what has happened, but we do the need for the appropriate time. Also reacting to the judgment on those state first lady, Mrs. Betty Akredolu expressed joy that justice has been speedily served and assured children in the state of adequate protection. Justice has been served today. And in a very, it is a very strong message, a very strong message that we're putting out there that this cruelty or level of cruelty will not be tolerated in Ondo State. Father and uncle of the victim, Sunday Joel, who hailed from Kebi State, Mr. Sunday and Daladi Yahi, explained that their two children were given to Mr. Okbayemi to be admitted in school in Kwara State, as they could not attend school in Kebi State due to the worsening security situation. You know, come the big people come. This uh, last year, people are calling us so that students will come to the house. You know, the big come. Later, later, our number no come, they go again. Before we hear something, the police come, they call our house, say, okay, now we be the people of uh, all those children and say yes. So we should come to Ondo State Akure for the sake of their life. Joel is responding to treatment in the hospital. From Akure, the Ondo State capital, Jonah Omowa reporting.